In the deepest, darkest part of our planet, where sunlight has never reached, lies an underwater world so strange and mysterious it defies explanation. What could possibly survive in such extreme conditions? What monstrous, alien-like creatures lurk there, beyond the reach of human eyes? Today, we're diving into the secrets of the Mariana Trench, exploring what only a few have dared to see. There's a reason scientists call the Mariana Trench Earth's final frontier, at nearly 36,000 feet below sea level. This trench is deeper than Mount Everest is tall. Down there, in pitch-black darkness, the ocean pressure is so intense it can crush steel. Yet somehow, life not only survives, but thrives. From carnivorous sponges that disguise themselves as innocent trees, to glowing jellyfish that light up the abyss, the life forms we've discovered there are as shocking as they are strange. But this might only be the beginning. What other horrors remain hidden in these depths? One of the most mysterious finds is the USS Johnston. This US warship, lost in a fierce World War II battle, lay undisturbed for nearly 75 years in the trench's depths. When it was finally discovered, explorers were stunned to find much of it still intact, a ghostly reminder of the past. The sheer depth at which it lies is unimaginable. Put Mount Everest in the trench, and it would still be a mile underwater. Yet there it sits, preserved in icy darkness. What other human relics might press down there, long forgotten in the shadows? And that's not all. Among the strange creatures in the trench is something you'd never expect to be dangerous. A sponge. Known as the ping pong tree sponge, this carnivorous predator blends in with the rocks and coral, waiting for its next meal to brush by. Covered in tiny hooks, it traps anything that comes too close, breaking it down bit by bit in one of the slowest, eeriest feeding processes you can imagine. For scientists, it's a chilling reminder that even the simplest life forms can be deadly. The trench isn't just home to shipwrecks and strange sponges, it holds some of the ocean's strangest creatures. Let's talk about the Dumbo octopus, a surprisingly adorable deep-sea dweller with wing-like fins that make it look like it's flying through the water. Unlike most octopuses, it doesn't shoot ink to escape predators. Instead, it quietly glides, moving gracefully in complete darkness, and survives in conditions that would be fatal to most life on Earth. Its mere existence is a reminder of how extreme life can be. Another creature lurking in the dark waters is the hatchet fish. Named for its distinctive hatchet shape, this fish has a special ability. It produces its own light through bioluminescence. Imagine glowing in the dark to escape predators. The hatchet fish can control how much light it emits, blending perfectly with its surroundings. It's the ultimate camouflage, keeping it invisible to anything looking up from below. But here's the kicker. This glowing trick doesn't just hide it from predators. It also helps it hunt. Now, if you think that's eerie, wait until you hear about the Black Sea Devil. This fearsome anglerfish uses a glowing lure dangling from its head to attract unsuspecting prey. Picture this, a small glowing light bobbing in the water water luring in fish until suddenly, snap, the anglerfish's jaws snap shut, devouring whatever was unfortunate enough to come too close. In the darkness of the Mariana Trench, this kind of brutal survival tactic is simply a way of life. Among the most surreal finds, though, is the transparent barrel eye fish. It has a completely see-through head, with eyes that can rotate to look up through the top of its skull. These unique, tubular eyes help it spot prey even in total darkness. It's like something straight out of a science fiction movie, a creature with a built-in set of night vision goggles, floating in the pitch-black depths, waiting for its next meal. And then there's the snailfish, often called the impossible fish. Scientists used to think it was impossible for fish to survive beyond about 8,000 meters, where crushing pressures would make survival nearly impossible. But then they found the snailfish, thriving at even deeper levels, defying all expectations. Its strange features are perfect for life in complete darkness, a reminder that nature is far more resilient than we can imagine. Some creatures here are so bizarre that they seem almost alien. Take the supergent amphipod. This massive crustacean was first discovered when scientists set traps in the trench, expecting to find only small amphipods. What they found instead were massive, oversized versions, some 20 times larger than their shower cousins. This shocking discovery left scientists puzzled, adding yet another layer of mystery to what we thought we knew about life in the deep sea. But it doesn't end there. Among the trench's most terrifying residents is the goblin shark, a relic from the time of the dinosaurs. With its long snout and terrifying jaw that can shoot forward to snatch prey, it looks like a nightmare brought to life. Though slow moving, the goblin shark waits patiently, lunging at anything that swims by. Its looks alone would make anyone want to flee, but down in the trench, there's nowhere to run. Strangely enough, there are mysteries in the Mariana Trench that don't even have faces. In 2016, scientists detected a metallic, moaning sound, unlike anything they'd ever recorded in the ocean. Dubbed the Western Pacific Biotwine, this sound had experts baffled. Some thought it might be whales, while others speculated it could be something entirely unknown. But this wasn't the only strange sound. In 1997, the famous bloop was recorded, a sound so powerful that it traveled over 3,000 miles. Was it the call of some unknown massive creature, or perhaps something else entirely? Just when you think it couldn't get weirder, scientists discovered massive single-celled organisms called xenophyophores. These aren't your typical amoebas, 
They can grow over four inches across and live miles down in the trench. In 2011, researchers found them deeper than anyone thought possible. They're the largest known single cells on Earth, and we still don't fully understand how they manage to survive. Of course, not all of the trench's residents are so massive. Enter the zombie worms, creepy, bone-eating creatures that feast on the remains of dead animals. These worms drill into bones, consuming the fats and proteins within. In an environment with limited food, they've evolved to make the most of what they find. As unsettling as it sounds, they play a vital role in cleaning up the deep deep sea ecosystem. Then there's the vampire squid, with skin that looks like a cloak and huge red eyes. Despite its name, it's not a true squid, nor is it a vampire. But in the deep, dark waters where it lives, it has an eerie presence. Instead of squirting ink, it releases a glowing, sticky liquid to escape predators. These creatures are under threat from pollution, even in their remote homes. At extreme depths, you'll even find the frilled shark, a creature that's hardly changed in 80 million years. With frilly gills and a mouth full of teeth, it looks like something from a prehistoric nightmare. But even this isn't the strangest predator. There's the dragonfish, a six-inch long creature with transparent, needle-sharp teeth and a glowing body that lures in prey. Despite its small size, the dragonfish has no trouble hunting animals half its size, making it one of the trench's fiercest hunters. Then there's the telescope octopus, with eyes that sit on stalks and can rotate to see in every Every direction. Its nearly transparent body helps it stay hidden. It's so well adapted to its surroundings that it always becomes invisible, moving through the water like a ghost. As we venture deeper, we encounter strange beings like feather stars, creatures that look like plants but can swim through the water. Unlike their ancient ancestors, which were firmly rooted to the ocean floor, these feather stars can actively swim to find food, a reminder that life in the trench is constantly adapting and evolving. So what could possibly threaten these resilient creatures in the depths of the ocean? As our curiosity pushes us deeper into the unknown, one thing's clear, the Mariana Trench still holds countless secrets. Each discovery only deepens the mystery, making us wonder what else could be hiding in the darkest parts of our planet. What other secrets are waiting to be discovered? What lies even deeper, in places no human has ever seen? We can only guess, but one thing's for sure, the ocean's most dangerous depths are far from empty.